for our camel ride through Luxor. I have a very small, cute camel. Paul's camel is disobeying and it wouldn't stand up. So I don't know what they're doing. Whether they're getting a new camel or they're just trying again. Camels. All right, we're on our camel ride. I have a borrowed hat, and Paul finally got a camel that liked him. <laughs> so all is good. Apparently, my camel's name is Michael Jackson. Side water palace. Yes. Hotel the long leaf time. Long with uh, King Farouk. I've heard of it. Yes, it's been built for a long time. Inside Luxor Temple. Yep, there's Luxor Temple, guys. See it? Yeah. No? Uh, yeah. There it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The stirrups are kind of weird. They like strap your feet in and like tight. It's a weird feeling. I'm not used to it. It's very pretty. Yeah. I think my camera overheated because the sound stopped recording right about here. 
It was incredibly hot. The sun is so bright, and I'm assuming it was probably close to 100 degrees, but it was still really enjoyable. It was just pleasant. Everyone was really friendly. This side of the Nile is a lot less touristy. There weren't any vendors around selling things. I think if I came back, it might be really fun to stay on this side of the Nile. We're getting ready to pass the Tadunk Amun restaurant, nice play on words there, and we see Bruce walking past us. Most of our tour group decided to take the bus to the other side and didn't choose to do the optional camel ride, but if you wanted to, you could get out and walk around and then meet the group and take the boat over with the rest of us. So our camel ride is ending up and we're getting ready to get off and take the boat across the river. Have you ever wondered what it's like to get off a camel? Well, I kept my camel rolling and you can see it's not graceful like dismounting a horse. The camel goes down on the front end first and then the back end and it's, it's kind of rough. But riding a camel wasn't very difficult. It wasn't too different from riding a horse. It's had a little different gait. Um, the only thing that I didn't like was that you can't steer yourself. Somebody has to lead your camel. So it's not quite as fun as a horse in that you're not actually in control. of school-aged boys that were helping with the camel ride and also helping with the boat and we were encouraged not to tip them because that only encourages them to stay out of school and I tried talking to this nice young man but he didn't know any English. Mm -hmm. 